Could this mean more trouble as former president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, calls for immediate sacking of Independent National Electoral Commission, Heinrich Schema? Let's see what he revealed that raises serious concern. Former Nigerian president Olusegun Obasanjo has called for a thorough reform of Nigeria's electoral system, emphasizing the urgent necessity for the removal of Mahmoud Yakubu, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission. INEC, along with other officials at various levels. During his speech at the Shinwe Ashibe Leadership Forum held at Yale University in the United States, Olusegu Obasanjo, former president of Nigeria, represents a paper title, Leadership Failure and State Capture in Nigeria, where he expressed his concerns regarding the integrity of the recent elections. Olusegu Obasanjo did not shy away from describing the 2023 general elections as a significant disappointment, which he characterized as a trash steel, total failure. He underscored the importance of overhauling the electoral framework to rebuild trust and credibility among the Nigerian populace. A critical component of his proposed reforms is the implementation of shorter terms. For INEC, which is the Independent National Electoral Commission officers, he believes this change would help curb the influence of political pressures and reduce the likelihood of corruption among Nigerian leaders and Nigerian politicians. In addition, Olusegu Obasanjo advocated for a more rigorous selection process for appointing the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC officials, suggesting that only those with unassailable reputations and a commitment to impartiality should be considered for these pivotal roles. He stressed that the leadership of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, should operate with independence transparency and integrity to enhance the commission effectiveness. A significant part of Olusegu Obasanjo's critic focus on INEX failure to employ advanced technological tools intended to streamline the electoral process is specifically pointed to the Bimodia Voter Accreditation System known as BIVAS and the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC Election Resort Viewing Portal, which were not utilized during the 2023 
presidential elections. Despite proud commitments from Sherman Yakubu to do so, Lusenko Mbasanjol argued that this oversight contributed to widespread irregularities in the voting process. He highlighted that both the beavers and the resort viewing porters were anticipated to significantly improve the accuracy and transparency of elections results, while also helping to eliminate the risk of electoral fraud. Lusengu Mbasanjol contended that the failure to implement these technologies was not due to their inherent flaws, but rather a deliberate choice by the National Independent Electoral Commission, INEC, leaders and their leadership, which is linked and likened to allowing a predator, a predator, a predator into a vulnerable situation. Former President Lusegu Mbasanjo's statements resonate with a broader public frustration regarding the electoral system in Nigeria, reflecting a desire for meaningful reforms. His impassioned call for change serves as a reminder of the ongoing challenges facing Nigerians, democracy, and the necessity of restoring public confidence in the electoral process. As discussions around electoral integrity continue, Lusegu Obasanjo's insight Electoral integrity continues. Lusegu Mbasanjo's insight may inspire a renewed commitment to ensuring fair and transparent elections in the future. So guys, how do you see to this matter? Whereby former president Lusegu Mbasanjo calls for the sack of INEC Sherman, Mahmoud Yakubu. Can you drop your comment on this matter on the comment section below? And do not forget to like and subscribe to Bliss Channel. Thank you.